Right, so this is going to be a quick video that's going to run you through how to get the JR Programmer drivers properly installed on Windows 10. So if you get your JR Programmer plugged in, you want to see a green light on it. Um, if you've got uh, LLD1 uh, and that's illuminating red, um, you need to f play around with the switches at the bottom that's labelled BL, which means bootload mode, and you need to just literally just play around with them until you get it out of that red mode. Um, and you've got just a solid green light. Um, if you aren't seeing this, just check your USB cable, make sure it's a data and power. Um, sometimes you've just got power if you get them with like your Bluetooth speakers. Um, just just things to keep in mind of um, and things to check and just things that I've seen when helping and assisting people before. Um, people say you need Windows 7. You don't need Windows 7. I'm using Windows 11 today, um, but it will work on 7, 10, 8, 11, whatever flipping version of Windows they come out with next. It will work as long as the steps are the same. So if you get it plugged in, you'll see that you've got a JR programmer here and it says that it's an unknown device and that there's drivers not installed. So if we go to update the driver, now the place to find the drivers will be in your JRunner location. So under JRunner common drivers, and in here will be the JRunner driver. Now when you go to install it, it'll say we've encountered a problem installing this driver and it says that the hash for this file is not present in the specified catalog file. The file is likely corrupt or the victim of tampering. So this means, it, I believe what it means is actually it's just this, the sign or, or the certificate that was valid for this signature or on this driver, it's gone. Um, it hasn't been redone and a new driver hasn't been made, but it's fine. We can work around it by disabling driver signature enforcement. So I'm just gonna quickly uninstall this now. What I will do in the description, there'll be a link to a guide on the 10 forums website, and I'll also write up a small rentry document in case this ever goes. Um, but what I'm gonna say is, is the easiest option, which is gonna be to temporarily disable it. So we don't need to disable it the whole time, we just need to temporarily disable it. Um, and the way you do this is by going into the advanced startup options. If you go to the start menu and type in settings, <clears throat> and I believe if we type in reset on the search, uh, you'll get the reset this PC. And in here, there'll be an option that says advanced startup. It will look a little bit different on 10 um, and on seven, you shouldn't have to do this, but if you do have to do it on seven, then you wanna scroll down to this option here about how to do it in command prompt rather than doing it in the advanced setup option. You want to do this advanced startup and do restart now. Once you've restarted, you'll get to a option uh, that looks like this. And you want to follow through with these steps and maybe open it up on a phone or a tablet and just or a laptop, whatever, and just follow through and go to start up settings. And in here, it will give you these, these options here. Um, it's usually number seven on the keyboard. It will hang on a screen that looks like this and these will be numbered. You can just go through it and all you want to do is push the number that says disable driver signature enforcement push that number, the computer will reboot into Windows where it's disabled. Once you've done that, you wanna come back onto Windows. Um, I'm gonna do that now, so that we're playing along. This is a fresh install. I've never used a JRP on this computer, so this is just proof that it works. So I'm gonna go do that now, and I will come back once that's complete. Right, I've just come back from a reboot. I'm back into Windows on a, on, a, on a fresh reboot, so we might see some things pop up. What we're gonna do is we're gonna get the uh, Nandex plugged in. Nandex, JR programmer, you know what I meant. This will also work for the Nandex, by the way. We'll just clear that up right now. It's not just JRP. And it'll also work for the MTX programmer as well, because the MTX programmer is um, the same. I'm just gonna quit Discord quickly. Cool. Right, so what we can do now is we're gonna go into Device Manager. And you're gonna see a JR programmer. It's gonna have the exclamation mark. We're gonna browse. Let me just go, that's a bit slower. I'm going to go browse my computer for drivers. Let me pick from a list, show all devices, and I have a disk. We're then going to go into your drivers directory in JRunner. So mine's under my documents. We're going to click open. Sorry. We're going to click the one that says proof technic. We're going to click open. We're going to click OK. It's going to come up here and it's going to say executor, jail programmer. It's going to say, this driver is not digitally signed. We don't care. You're going to get this scary looking pop-up. It's going to say, don't install this driver, but you want to click this one down here that says, install this driver anyway. 
just like that we should see it install this will refresh and our jail program will know how long to have this little exclamation mark on it and we can pop into jrunner and just confirm that it's fine there we go we've successfully updated the driver um, under your proof technic usb devices you'll see your executor jar programmer if we open up a jrunner not yet octal i'm busy there we go and just to prove that it's fine i'm going to unlock it and back back in I know my things got stuck in bootloader mode. I knew this was going to happen. There you go. Play around with the switches. As I said, these JR programmers are very picky, so I'm kind of glad I did that actually. Um, but yeah, you want to play around with the switch at the bottom sometimes. It's labeled, um, it says JL, JDBL, and it's next to the reset switch. If you flip it towards the bootloader sign, unplug flip it back, plug in, do that a couple of times, you should get back in, you should have a green LED. But there we go, jail programmer coming up. And that one's fine there. So that's that's all for this video. Um, should be fairly straightforward to do. Um, once you next reboot, your driver signature enforcement will come back on. So just keep that in mind. But you should only have to do this once unless you play around in device manager and uninstall some shit. So, Hopefully that's covered some things. Any questions, pop it in the description. Cheers.